this video series is about uh, using IS4 15693 tags. So throughout this video series, I'll be covering in detail about the protocol and the anti-collision and we're going to understand the various commands as defined in the in this ISO 1563 documentation. We're going to see what are the reader writers, readers and writers we can use to read these type of uh, tags. And I'm also going to show you a few tags and eventually so I'm going to show you how how to use the learning kit using these tags. These are some of the applications of ISO 15693 tags. They are using libraries, the counterfeit protection of uh, consumer goods, etc. King like a postal, airline, bags, a parcel, etc. And you can see uh, applications, so many applications in internet. So there is a groundwork we all have to do before you know we start using these tags. And this is also my first experience on these type of tags. All my previous experiences were on the IS41443 type of tags. Now you have to get all the documents which you'll be uh, referring and which will be reading again and again. So get a document of ISO 15693. These are available in three parts. The part one, which speaks about the physical characteristics. The part two, which speaks about the signals and uh, uh, collision and magnetic field, etc. And part three is about the transmission protocols. So you must have at least one reader writer that can read these about tax. I'll be using a reader writer based on the chip CR95HF and it is available as a kit, as a discovery kit. And I'll also be using the OmniKey. So the reason I'm using these two is I don't want to spend any more money um, to read these type of tags because I know these two boards can read and write ISO 1443 tabs and also ISO 15693 as well. So I'm going to use my existing boards. So I have made so many videos using a PN532 reader writer. However, PN532 chip doesn't support this protocol. So you cannot use uh, these type of uh, tags. I have read and I've seen some documentation on a PN544 based reader writer and the documentation mentions that PN544 can read and write the IS15693 tags. However, I do not have uh, any board but you can you can buy these boards uh, from eBay. You need a few tags so I'm going to use the M24LR03 this is a EEPROM uh, which comes with the kit and this can be used as a as a ISO one five six nine tag as well. I'll be using few tags called iCode. This is from NXP. It's called iCode SLIX. So these are also very uh, cheaper to buy. And there are many tags from uh, Texas Instruments. You can you know buy this from internet. And you need. In order, because this is the this is the first time I'm also learning these type of tags, and it's good that you get the documentation of all these tags, okay, so that you understand uh, this protocol better. So this is the kit I'll be using. This is called uh, M24 LR Discovery, and this kit comes with the reader writer. That's the green board. And the left is, it's called as a dynamic NFC or RFID tag. And this has got a very interesting feature called energy harvesting. And I already have this kit and 
these kits are also quite reasonable to buy you can buy this kit for around 16 pounds to 20 pounds uh, from internet and so you have a reader as well as you know one tag plus i'll also be using um, the tag called icode sli and as you can see here you know these uh this this tag is from nxp and you can buy this in uk from uh, 30 pence onwards so it's not a not a huge money here as well so as I, as i mentioned before you have to download these documents this is uh, the is for uh, 1693 part 1 and i got uh, part 2 and the part 3 which is uh, very very important for developers and also as i mentioned before there is one document from nxp uh, this is a document on the i code sli and this is a this is the first version of the ic you know of the label this is also called as a label ic this is the first version of the product and the reason i would advise you to read this is this says as a very simple uh, feature so it's very good for uh, starters like me or developers to understand uh, the various features of is 4663 okay and this is the documentation of the tag i mentioned about this is the i code slix and you know you need this is also you have to read the document you know to understand uh, the commands well and this is the documentation about the eprom the the red board i showed here and this document also explains all the commands various feature i would advise you you know probably i'll be starting with this board because this has got everything you know you have to have in a tag so it's a very very you know it's a 146 page document but however once you know get hang of this uh, basic concept you can easily skim through this uh, pages probably in a day so i would advise you to read every document in detail and i have done that and these are some of the things you know i have picked up and this is completely it's a uh, it's, it's from a point of uh, developers view and there are so many things in this part one that speaks about the electronics part of the tag which i don't understand and because i'm a developer so i just picked up you know some of the things that would be interested uh, uh, for for developers so the first thing is you know i came to know this words wic v-i-c-c so this is called the vicinity integrated circuit cards this the any card based on is4 15693 they are called as the the vicinity cards unlike you know you got iso 14443 and these are called as a proximity uh, cards it's called as a pick then it's called the other word is a vcd it's called vicinity coupling device this is the reader writer and this is the tag and if you compare this with the 1443a uh, it was called as a PCD. It's called the proximity coupling device. Whereas here, this becomes a VCD. And this is nice uh, uh, terminology here as well. You you see about very near tax, nearby tax, and the longer distance tax. So the longer distance tax are based on ISO 15693. And this I've not I've not seen or used so far. And this you know we know is very very common tax is 1443 type of tax and this is what you know uh, some of the highlights of uh, part one in part two so part two will start using the words wic and vcd now we know what they are and the rf frequency used is uh, 13.56 uh, megahertz which is same as the is 1443 as well so you come again you know part two is again it has got more electronics more about signals frequencies you know all kinds of things which uh which you know i don't understand because you know uh, so if you come from electronics background probably 
you'll understand better or if you are thinking about creating your own reader from the scratch from the chip probably you may be now interested to uh, go through this in detail so it says about the modulation is of type ASK and which is either 10 percent or 100 percent so so what I understand here is two types of modulations are are uh, mentioned in the standard so it's either 10 percent ASK or 100 percent ASK next is about the data rates again two data rates are mentioned in the document which is uh, the rate at 1.6 kbps which is called 1 out of 4 and 26 kbps 1 out of 256 so from the developer's point of view you have to remember this 10 percent 100 percent because these terminologies are also used when you when you read the actual commands sent to the tax so the 1.6 abps is also called as a low rate one and the 26 kbps is called a high rate one so just remember there's something called low rate and the higher rate speaks about the sub carriers so it says there are one to two sub carrier now again you know this is you have to remember the words and probably if you want to know more about the sub carriers you might better talk to your colleagues you know who understands electronics and part two also speaks about the frame structure of between the vcd to wic that is the reader to the tag and the tag to the reader and all the frames that starts with the sof the start of the frame tag and ends with the eof end of the frame tag again the part two mentions you know what kind of a signal indicates uh, end of file uh, end of the frame or what kind of signal indicate the uh, start of the file you know there's so more electronics bit and between you have got the various flags which you know is very friendly term for developers the commands the parameters the data and the crc So the part three, this is the most important document for for the developers. And as I keep saying, now you just have to read, 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 read. So you can keep this part three as a as a reference rather than memorizing. Probably you can keep going back to this again and again to understand. So I just wanted to mention about uh, the part two. So this word ASK. So I heard about this ASK uh, when I was in uh, uni and that was in, uh, in 27 years ago, that's in the year 1990. So that was the last time you know, I heard this ASK, but however, you know, ASK is very, you keep hearing the word ASK uh, in RFID uh, books. So in this document, you see details about the various uh, command structures. You will see the request format, what's the command to make a request, and what's the command for the response. So always keep in mind, it is the, the VCD which makes the request first. So it's the WIC. So the the exchange between the VCD and the between the VCD and the WIC is always in terms of a frame, and the command going from VCD to WIC is a request command. The response is the response uh, command. So these two have got their own formats, which is explained in part three. So I will be going through this part three, you know, in my future videos. You'll come across, you know, the UID structure. You will speak, you know, you'll come across how the anti-collision works and how to implement anti-collision. We see the state transition diagrams like how the, uh, how the WIC starts. It starts from the, from no power to the ready state and goes into the selected state and so on and so forth. 
okay we will speak about afi the application family identifier and speaks about you know the data storage format identifier so here this afi is a very interesting concept so if you got say for example around the 10 tags I think this is your uh, the vcd and out of this uh, eight tags these two belong to say for example you know the asset management and these two belong to library management i can, vcd can tell it's interested for tags which are of asset management so this afi is um, is programmed inside the tag and it tells what kind of application this tag belongs to so we're going to see this you know in detail in the future videos the data storage format not very sure but in theory it says this this value will tell us and you know, will tell the vcd what type of data is stored probably you know we can use this uh, when you create our own applications so is you'll see about the various memory structures vcd or oh, sorry the, this standard speaks about the blocks and bytes we see about the securities how to protect the blocks and how to you know password protect and how to lock and all those things are discussed as well next you know we're going to see about the various error codes which is very interesting uh, concept you know we all have to uh, put this error checking in our program and about block locking you can if you think about you know the the memory is is organized like this with the blocks and each block has got a number of bytes so each block can be locked block from reading or lock from writing and also speaks about various uh, commands see this is a standard so it describes some of the mandatory commands and some of the optional commands now some of the commands are inventory command stay quiet read a block write a block lock a block how to password protect a block read multiple blocks write multiple multiple blocks write afi write d everything in every feature of the of the tag you know can be read and written in one way or the other it speaks about the custom and proprietary commands so if you some of the commands you know which are not mentioned here may be present in a tag and those commands are very specific to the manufacturer so they come under the custom and the proprietary uh, commands it also speaks about the crc how to generate the crcs most of the time we don't have to worry about crc because this is uh, taken care of by the reader writer in our use. So this is, uh, I, I would advise you know, to follow these steps here and this is what I've been following as well. Whenever, while you read this uh, 15693-3 document, okay, please read along with the data sheet of a specific tag. So that will be very helpful to you. See, by doing that, you will come to know um, what optional commands are implemented in the tag and what are the new commands that are there in the tag which is not in the documentation. So I would, you know, go with the, because these are the two tags I'll be using. So I'll be using the iCode uh, SLX uh, data sheet and, you know, the other one and just okay uh, uh, as i mentioned before you know you just have to keep uh, reading this uh, again and again so you can see i have connected uh, this m24 uh, lr03 board and this is the software that comes with the board and this red board this is an eprom but this has got the microcontroller and the interface you know to make it uh, behave like a ISO 15693 tag and I'm not going to show anything in this video however we are going to come back to these boards you know in detail so the reason why I, adv uh, why I advise this software is 
this has got everything everything you know about this uh, this standard so you're going to choose m24 la0e and look at that all the commands i mentioned is already here so i'm going to go through this you know uh, one at a time and and we're going to see you know how we're going to understand all these various commands in detail so this this is about the omni key this is a 5421 and this is the page you know i've got from the documentation of this product and the document says omni key 5421 the one i have got okay works with the iso 15693 there are also other reader writers you know as mentioned here so if you have got any one of these so uh, so you are already prepared to learn this uh, ISO 15693 tags. 